Hey guys, it's me, Felicia. I <laughs> am in a new location. I'm filming outside. And um, I feel kind of self-conscious because my neighbor's kitchen window is like right there. And if they see me sitting talking to my camera, that's going to be weird. But it was so nice outside that I just wanted to film my um, the rest of my June wrap-up. Um, I've been sick over the weekend, so that's why I didn't get it done on time. But, uh, yeah, here we go. So, I did have the first half of my June wrap-up. That is up already on uh, my channel. If you didn't see that one, I read eight books um, in the first half of June. I read Franny and Zoe, The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants and the Second Summer of the Sisterhood. I read Calamity Jack, uh, which was a graphic novel. I read The Villa, uh, the and then the Hunger Games trilogy. Those were all of the books that I read um, in the first half of June. And then in the second half of June, I read uh, one, two, three, six more books. So in June, I read a total of 14 books, which is ridiculous. One book actually that I forgot to mention in the beginning of my June wrap up was that I listened to Graceling on audio and uh, no I haven't read the rest of that series yet I've just read Graceling twice now I saw that my library had it on audio and it was a full cast audio so they had um, it was like a dramatic reading of it so they had different voice actors for all the different characters and that was really cool and it really brought the story to life in a different way and it just this made me even more excited to finish the series now and I was gonna get it from the library and then I went there the other day and they were all out so I was like this is a ripoff maybe I'll just buy them I don't know because they're awesome but yeah I totally loved it I would recommend listening to it with the full cast audio because it was so good then the next book that I read was The Martian by Andy Weir. Oh my goodness, you guys. This was just amazing. I, ugh, f like five out, six out of five. Like, oh, I loved it. It was so awesome. And like I was reading this and I was just laughing all the time. And oh, it was just so good. Um, one day at work, my coworkers were talking about the trailers for The Martian, and I hadn't seen them yet, and I was like, I'm gonna watch them. And then I watched it, and then I was like, I cannot put this book off any longer. I have to read this book now. So like that day after work, I started reading it, and I just flew through it. It was so good. And like, Mark Watney is so funny. He is so funny, and I just loved it. And I'd be sitting there and reading and just laughing out loud and my husband would be like, what are you laughing at? And then he would see that I was reading the book and then he'd be like, oh, never mind. And it was just, yeah, it was very entertaining. And like, if you think that a story about a man who is stuck on Mars by himself, if you think that's going to be boring, it is not boring. Like, it was just so well written. And I just enjoyed it thoroughly. My my only complaint with the story is that I would have liked to see a little more of the um, the psychological effects of him being stranded on Mars without any communication um, for like however long it is. Um, that would have been good, but I mean, other than that, and that's it's not a big complaint. It's just you know whatever. That's fine. I just I just loved it, and like if you haven't read this book yet like pick it up now and read it okay just read it you'll love it next book that i read was starters by lisa price I'm have to hold it like this oh. i had gotten this book from book outlet um and it was actually sent to me by mistake i didn't buy it and so i was like okay bonus book and um i also listened to this on audio uh, my library had it on audio and so i'm like well let's just listen to it and then get it out of the way and I'm glad that I didn't pay money for this book. I didn't enjoy it very much. Um, I gave it two and a half out of five. It just... It was just blah. Um, the premise of the story is that there are 
um, there was a, a virus that wiped out everyone um, except for anyone that was like 18 and younger and people that were 60 and older I think and it wiped out everyone in the middle ages there. so there's just the young people which are called starters and the old people which are called enders our main character is a starter her name is Kelly she starts working for this company that um, allows <laughs> it allows enders to rent starters bodies and like live through them and so it's very weird and I don't know it sounded kind of interesting but the plot just was I don't know it was written very boringly like I didn't care at all what happened everything just felt like kind of like it just stayed here like the climax the big conflict of the plot didn't feel like it was going like this it just kind of just felt like this the whole way and so I don't know it was just kind of boring I didn't connect to the characters um there is a second book and I don't think I'll pick it up maybe if it comes out on audio sometime I'll listen to it but I don't really want to invest all of that time sitting and reading to it you know like I'd rather just listen to someone read it while I'm doing other stuff so that I still feel productive um yeah I mean it wasn't horrible maybe it just wasn't for me but yeah then the next book that I listened to on audio was Princess Diaries by Meg Gabbett. And that was like four and a half out of five. It was incredible because the audiobook is narrated by Anne Hathaway. And I don't think you can get more perfect than that. It was just awesome. And I just enjoyed listening, uh, revisiting that story so much because, like, that's a big part of my teenage years. <clears throat> And I forgot how relatable Mia was. She's just, like, except for the, um, like, her physical appearance of being tall and skinny and then also her being vegetarian. Like, I could just relate to all of her feelings. And it just brought me back to being, like, 14, 15. And I was like, wow, I'm so glad I'm not that age anymore. And, oh, it was just so awesome. Was so good. And, yeah, so... I decided to start reading the series again um, so that I can read the new one that just came out, the adult one. And so I'm really excited. Unfortunately, not all of the audiobooks are narrated by Anne Hathaway, which sucks. But um, some of them are. I think about half of them are. Maybe four of them. So I'm definitely going to be listening to the rest of the series on audio. The next book that I read was um, Salt and Stone by Victoria Scott. And that was the second book for Fire and Flood. And I gave that two and a half out of five as well I was not impressed by it I was very annoyed with the main character the whole time I was just frustrated I didn't want to read it it just was not not an enjoyable story and I didn't feel like it developed at all it just felt like again kind of the same everything was just kind of like this and it was like okay characters are like going backwards in their relationship which is frustrating oh and oh the main character was just so irritating and like she was all like oh I don't need I don't need a man to to help me I don't need guy to help me but I want him to be close but then when he tells me to do something then I get all mad and it was just like that for like the whole book and she's like I want him close but don't you dare tell me what to do. Was, she wanted to have all the control in the relationship and didn't want to give anything to him. And it was just stupid. So whatever. Um, yeah. Um, if uh, So far, um, the series is only supposed to be a duology. They haven't purchased the third book. And I think if there was a third book, I would not be in any rush to pick that up and finish. The last book that I read in June was Girls in Pants by Anne Brushers, and this is the third book in the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants series, and it was great, just like all of them, four or five. I just am loving being back in this series again, and yeah, it was just very entertaining and enjoyable, and uh, yeah, I don't know, it's the same as I can I mean I can't tell you what it's about because spoilers but it's still about the girls and about the pants and it's just good and so yeah so those are all the books that I read in June and 
I hope that July will be a very successful reading month and I can get lots of books read. I am planning to do a summer TBR video very shortly for you guys as well as a bookshelf tour because I got some new bookshelves because Ikea had Billy bookcases on uh, sale a couple weeks ago so I bought some. Um, my battery light is on so uh, if this video dies soon I hope bye. Um, but also so yeah so I have those things coming up and then I have uh, um, the next round of the uh, TBR takedown is coming up in the end of the month and I'm going to be participating in that as well as probably the booktubeathon um, which is at the beginning of August and if there's any other videos that you guys want to see um, leave a comment down below and let me know and otherwise I hope that you're all having a wonderful day and I hope you're doing very well and that you're not sick like me and I will see you soon uh, next time. Bye!